We have the luxury of being able to purchase fine jewellery at the store. However, sometimes it's nice to be able to go back to grassroots. Get it from the source. It's the pearl in oyster shell. A delicious meal or a glamorous gift? You decide. Let's open it up and then we'll give it a Mr. Tasteful score. The photos of this look absolutely disgusting. That's how I knew I had to hit that buy button. You know what? Maybe rubber gloves would have been a better choice for this. I wouldn't want to damage these fine Chinese cotton blend hand coverings. We'll just go with fingers. To tell you the truth, I'm a little scared about what this may contain. It's only now that I've realised if this does actually contain real oyster, possibly it was illegal for me to import this without declaring it via customs. Imagine explaining this story to your cellmate in prison. Sure hope this doesn't contain oyster juice. Mr. Tasteful Studios will never smell the same again. We have some easy tear markings. Most of this is required. I can hear the air escaping. Let's see if the pungent aroma of oyster is going to hit my nostrils. The oyster shell is flaking apart ever so slightly. I can see a little bit of glimmer of liquid. I can't quite tell what that smell is. Having a look, very thin, very much sealed actually feels too light to be a real oyster. Slightly liquidy, sticky, oily. I'm a little bit concerned. I think we should be able to open this up with fingers. In the crevice, I can see the sparkle of pearl. Oh, the anticipation. The suction of the muscles holding it together. I'm slightly concerned this is going to break. Just like that. At least I didn't get shards of oyster in my fingers. Inside we have the fleshy muscle. Let's have a smell of that one. I'm still not sure if this is real or not. I'm not going to be tasting it. Let me clean up and I'll be back. I think that someone has gone to the trouble of making a fake oyster with fake muscle inside containing six pearls. And I'm sure these are absolutely top quality, surely worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Inside, we had one, two, three, four, five, six pearls, all conveniently the same cheap size. Having a close look inside the muscle, I'm really not sure if this is real or fake. Could go either way. I hope it's fake. Jimmy, it's the pearls in the oyster. Oh, Jimmy, it doesn't smell that bad. Just get your nose into it. Yes, Jimmy, I know what it looks like. Why would there be hair on the... Oh, Jimmy, let's give the pearls in the oyster a Mr. Tasteful score. We're scoring the pearl in the oyster based on the factors of weird, tacky and functional. Starting off with weird, I'm often amazed by what the visionaries of Wish.com come up with. Nine and a half out of 10. Next, we move on to tacky. This is not classy. It may look revolting on camera, because it kind of is. 9.2 out of 10. And finally, functionality. Adding the oyster shell to the pearl, it adds no value. Zero, zilch. But have a couple of points for the pearl. Two and a half out of 10. A seafood delight for 21.1 Mr. Tasteful points out of 30.
Now over to the Mr. Tasteful leaderboard where you'll find other junk that's probably also left to pollute the ocean. The Pearling Oyster Shell on 21.1 points goes into position number 7. Just above we have the Nicolas Cage banana cushion cover and ear earrings. Just below the bag of cockroaches and pillow bread cell phone holder. And floating right up to the top are the pea funnel, fake camel toe and blue plastic ear covers. Pearls in the oyster. The liquid on this thing. I don't know what it is. That makes me worried. And for more things that make you want to vomit, subscribe to Mr. Tasteful. Sure thing, Jimmy. Go ahead, tell me a joke. Why would five guys be giving a lady a pearl necklace? Oh, Jimmy, this is a G-rated channel.